Talk Nation, Talk Nation, welcome back everybody, it's your boy Royal Talk Live Sports, aka the Ghetto Stephen A. Man, and we are back at it. Blessings and salute to everybody, man. First of all, blessings to Manny Pacquiao. His son was interviewed, and he says, you know what, like he had a conversation with his dad, and he was like, basically, you should hang it up. And I already knew that was a precursor to what was coming, and he's possibly going to hang up his gloves, man. But um, salute and shout out to Manny Pacquiao. Another video on that coming very soon don't forget to like comment and subscribe so you can check it out now tyson fury deontay wilder not only is this fight became more interesting because joshua just got dominated by alexander usi and with that victory people don't realize but he shook up the heavyweight division a lot of people was talking about he's too small talking about manny pacquiao again they said that about Manny Pacquiao throughout his whole career. And what'd he do? Fight bigger guys and dominate and defeat bigger guys throughout his whole career. Skill, heart, intelligence trumps all. Alexander Usyk put on a great performance, put on a great show. A question was asked about knocking out Anthony Joshua. And um, he basically replied, why is everybody so bloodthirsty? Everybody may not look for the knockout. Sometimes you just want to go in there and dominate your opponent. Make sure that you win every round, period. End of the day, that's what boxing is about. From round one to round 12. If you're not getting knocked out, somebody has to win that round. So if you're on the receiving end throughout the majority of the fight, chances are you're going to lose the fight. But if you're winning every round, chances are you're going to win a unanimous decision. Alexander Usyk chooses to go that route, and I salute him for that. With his skill, his talent, and he does got power. Usyk coming into the fold, theoretically, and I truly believe this, as good as Tyson Fury is, great mover for a big guy, I truly believe that if he fights Usyk, he's gonna lose. Because the tools that Tyson Fury has to utilize in order to keep somebody like Usyk away and at bay. Usyk is a great boxer, has great head movement. You've seen that when he fought Joshua. From the opening bell, he was moving. He was moving his head because he knew he had to stay out of way of that jab and that uppercut. Tyson Fury, a man of many words, he always talking. But he does have skill. When you have skill, you necessarily can't say talk is cheap because you can back up what you say. And I respect that. And I look for that. So I give that to Tyson Fury. But at the same time, I believe in his heart of hearts, he knows that he's not facing the same opponent that he did in the second fight. Period. Hats off to Malik Scott for turning Deontay Wilder's, not only say his career around, but I would say turning his abilities around. He still has that volcanic power in his right hand. But I believe his other tools, his left hook, his uppercut, he always had a decent jab because that's how he generally set people up with the one-two. So Deontay Wilder has a great jab, explosive right hand. But the other tools that he has in his arsenal, if Malik Scott is also, if he can also polish these tools with his movement, and Wilder's movement has improved. And I'm not talking about his head movement. I'm talking about with his feet. He always had a problem standing at standing. I always told you guys, man, it's that that wide stance, like he's doing like Kibarach as far as karate, like he's a karate man. No, Deontay Wilder now, he's starting to move more, more fluid, you know what I'm saying? With his head movement, he's gonna need to be because Tyson Fury, that's how he's gonna try to keep him at bay and set him up with his jab. Everything works off of the jab with Tyson Fury. With his movement, he loves to jab and literally try to box circles around his opponent. So your head movement, and your general foot movement is going to have to be key in order to defeat Tyson Fury, which I believe Deontay Wilder will do. And I think he hurts Tyson Fury early. And I also think he'll possibly knock Tyson Fury out in the mayor rounds. I don't think that fight is going the distance. I most certainly don't believe that Tyson Fury is going to come into that fight and just bully him like he did. You know what I mean? Some dirty tactics was used in that second fight. 
Tyson Fury was hitting um, Deontay Wilder, you know what I'm saying, like open hand, you know what I'm saying, with his wrist, all types of stuff. All y'all got to do is go back and look at the tape, man, especially when Wilder, I forgot which round it was, but when he had um, Wilder in the corner, Tyson Fury was hitting Deontay Wilder, you know what I'm saying, like like this, like with this part of the, um, the wrist. And I don't know if you guys know, but that is very hard. And if any guy, if any, any of y'all ever did martial arts training, you know you can literally train, you know what I'm saying, that portion of your wrist because you can hit people with certain blows. And if you train, if that is if that is hard, especially if it's wrapped up in tape, you know what I mean? Like, that's a weapon. If you hit somebody the right time, you know what I mean, in a temple or their eardrum, you know what I mean, you're going to have problems. So Deontay Wilder, man, like once he lost his equilibrium, when he caught those shots, that was pretty much um that was pretty much it tyson fury you know what i mean broke him down but the damage was already done in my opinion from illegal shots that he took but coming to this third fight knowing what deontay wilder knows now i don't think that he's going to fall for those same tricks and guess what he shouldn't all the time that he's been training putting in work getting better he should not only be a more sharper fighter a more skilled fighter, but he should also be more patient. We all know he wants to go in there and take his head off, but I believe that will work out to his detriment. If he fights a smart, patient, but yet explosive fight, I believe he'll have the results that he wants, and that's possibly stopping or knocking out Tyson Fury. But if he goes in being impetuous, you know what I mean, going off pure emotion, raw emotion, and just try to unload that energy on Tyson Fury, he's going to wind up pushing himself out. I don't think he'll gas out because Wilder always had a great gas tank, and he's been training all this time since his, since their last fight. So it's not like he has to go to a fat camp. If anything, Deontay Wilder has gotten bigger, muscle. So now Fury is not going to be able to go in there and bully him like he did in the second fight. He's legitimately not only added size, but he added muscle. So when Tyson Fury's trying to get rough now, physically Deontay Wilder has the strength and power to move Tyson Fury. You know what I mean? Instead of being moved by Tyson Fury. But it's going, it's going to be, excuse me, a super explosive fight. It's going to be a great, great fight. I truly believe that it will be. And I believe that Deontay Wilder is going to get his hand raised. And I think, just like I told y'all, Go back and watch the previous videos, especially shorts that I did about um, Fury and Usyk. I told you guys, I seen something at the press conference and it had me thinking like, you know what, man? Like Anthony Joshua, man, like he looks, he looks nervous. He looks nervous. I wonder how he's going to perform. And he could mess around and get upset. And what happened? He went in there and he got upset. You know what I'm saying? Like Anthony Joshua is a good fighter, but in my opinion, he doesn't have that grit to be top tier. He doesn't. Deontay Wilder, he does. You know what I'm saying? He held down that WBC title for years, for years. You know what I'm saying? Before he was defeated. And his first defeat came by the hands of a Supreme Boxer. And ain't nothing wrong with that. And ain't nothing wrong with that at all. Anthony Joshua thought it was gonna be like that when he fought Usyk. You know what I mean? He thought that he was a better boxer he thought, at least after, that's what they were saying. He thought he was going to go in there, outbox, use his range. But with Usyk coming from the southpaw stance already, awkward. Him being a great boxer makes things more difficult. And we've seen the movement and the head movement from Alexander Usyk. And that I believe 30, uh, 33 years of age, he's not moving like he's an old man. So I don't see his skill declining by the time they fight again because Anthony Joshua said that he's going to exercise the rematch clause but I don't see I don't see really no different outcome in my opinion you know what I mean he could possibly get stopped or knocked out by Usyk if they fought again Usyk hurt him like twice when they fought third time I'm excuse me third round according with a shot had him wobbly Later rounds of the fight, caught him again with the left hand. Like, Joshua's real chinny. If you catch him with the right shot at the right time, you're going to hurt him. You're going to hurt him. 
And if you come in aggressive, like Wilder will be, you know what I mean, like the Tasmanian Devil, you're going to catch him, and you're going to wind up getting him up out of there. Anthony Joshua, he knows this. He knows this. I believe just like he knows his strengths, I believe he also knows his deficiency. And so do his corner. But they're not going to highlight these things. But people who know the sport of boxing and they know how to fight, they're going to see these things. But it's up to the fighters to go in the ring and perform and pretty much prove everybody wrong. Especially those people who said, well, this is going to happen, this is going to happen. No. It's up to you to go in there and perform and prove everybody wrong. And the only way that you do that is by putting on a great fight, having a great performance, and possibly and ultimately winning the fight. You do these things, most of the time you'll come out victorious.